how many bags do you guys bring when you guys go traveling? Because for me, I can never decide what type of bags to bring for what occasions. And I would love to hear what you guys do. And let me know, are you a backpack, tote, um, you know, belt bag, a smaller bag, like what kind of things you need to carry. Because for me, I realized I always bring big bags and I never use them because they just weigh me down and I hate like having it like hurt my shoulders. So I would love to hear your feedback and hopefully that will help me pack better for the future. So welcome you guys. If this is your first time here, my name is Jenny. I love handbags and on this channel, handbags is mainly what we talk about because I just love a good designer bag, I love a good contemporary bag, and I want to do reviews for you guys, unboxings, and just comparisons, and just chit chat with you about anything handbag related. So welcome, and thank you so much for stopping by. And if you guys are already subscribing to my channel, thank you so much for your support and always coming so back. Today, I want to do the video on my favorite type of bag which is the belt bag um, and this one is i would say like a mix of you know a lot of different types of bags i wanted to share with you what works for me and for what types of occasions but there are five belt bags here that really speak to me and i just been like gravitating towards and i did ask you guys on youtube you know like is this something that you would be interested in and many of many of you guys did say yes i would love to see because i'm in the market to purchase a belt bag so with that said let's just get started first bag i want to share is this little louis vuitton belt bag this is considered i believe a belt bag i'm so sorry i actually do not remember her name i'm gonna drop it right below but this is such a little gem and at first i was hesitant because it honestly is like the size of like a very similar to like a mini pochette probably in terms of like length but i believe the mini or this one might hold a little bit more because it is pretty flexible i'm not sure i can do a comparison if you guys would like to see but um yeah, this one does hold a lot for its shape. There's a lot of room within this bag. Actually, I do not know where the strap of this particular bag is, but it doesn't matter because this is what I've been doing. And you can alternate, honestly, you can put in any of your straps. I've actually used my um, Palm Springs Mini, the black straps on this. I I use this gold chain very often, and if I want something longer, I can switch into like a different type of chain as well. This is like my Aaron bag. I use this so much. So it literally just sits up here and I know it kind of looks weird, but I just like it because I can just reach in and get everything. Um, I don't need to really worry about it. It's a magnetic closure. So it just snaps like that. This one is no longer in boutiques anymore. I believe, I don't know if this is considered vintage, but it's definitely um, something you would need to find on the pre-love market if you are looking for one. I will drop a couple below because I mean, honestly, this is just a great little errand bag. And like I said, you don't always need to carry the world with you when you're going to the grocery store, getting Starbucks. I mean, you just need the size. And you can even hold it like this. And what I like about this is I use this for work too, because I can throw this into my work bag and it's just so easy and convenient. Just to give you an idea, uh, iPhone 12, it does actually fit, but you know, it's gonna distort a little bit. It's gonna look like this. So it does close and stuff, but you're not gonna be able to fit much else in it. Actually, I don't even know if it actually fits too well. So you get, I mean, a 12 Pro Max is a huge phone. I think one of the bigger phones on the market right now. So if you guys have a smaller phone, it will definitely fit. Um, but yeah, a 12 Pro Max like mine, it is going to be a little bit of a squeeze. But you can definitely fit like, a card wallet in here. This is the one I've been using. Sanitizer and also my keys. And honestly, this is really all I need is just a wallet, sanitizer and keys and a hair clip. And actually this one's a little bulky. It does still fit though, but the closing will be a little tighter. So I probably, instead of using something like this, I would just use like a hair scrunchie. Um, and then, yeah, it just fits like this. So again, it fits your essentials for sure, but is it something that you can bring like a bunch of lip glosses and a lot of chunky stuff? Probably not, but how cute is this? Like, this is so cute. You can actually wear it as a belt bag, like a true belt bag. And I think that's what it was intended for, like over here. 
but you know me, I love a good belt bag across your chest. So I just wear it like this. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Also really been loving the Gucci um, belt bag as well. Actually, so with this, I actually purchased this, this piece right here because Dorymon just really reminds me of childhood, like something about the like character and like the design of the like the blue against this like red. I just thought it was so, so, so cute. Um, definitely found it to be super unique and such a fun collaboration with Gucci. However, I don't gravitate towards it as much only because it doesn't match with anything I wear, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Like I'll still use it. I'll still wear it when I'm traveling, but just the only thing I think I might actually add to the collection is this one over here because this is like the original one and I love the way that this belt bag actually is. It's just, it's magnetic. So it's so convenient and the space is really, you know, it definitely holds your essentials and more. Um, and then the canvas is really comfortable. So yeah, I think I want to get that one and that way that will match with more stuff and this one I can wear you know, on like other occasions. But yeah, it obviously it's like the um, the GG is very similar to the Marmont bags. Um, the only thing is this actually doesn't detach and it's pretty, you can adjust it though. You can definitely adjust it. You just can't actually um, take it off to add in other straps. This would just sit like this. I think it's so cute, but you can see that obviously there's a pop of color and sometimes I just, I don't wear stuff that really matches. So I almost feel like I probably should have gotten the other one, but originally my mindset wasn't to get the bag because I wanted a belt bag. It was more because I wanted the collaboration. But then now after using this bag, I'm like, I actually really just love the belt bag. So I definitely recommend it. I mean, I don't even know this collaboration is still, um, you know, in boutiques anymore. I don't think so, but I would recommend if you guys don't want something so loud or something um, that's not an everyday, get this one over here because it's so classy. I don't think it's gonna go out of trend. And for me, I like live in my gym clothes sometimes and I just think it matches really well. So definitely recommend that one. It fits so much. Um, and again, if you guys wanna see more like what fits inside each of these bags, let me know, I'll be happy to do that. Um, for now, you know, I just wanted to kind of show you the bags that are top of my list. These are no particular orders. I'm kind of just like gravitating towards the bags that I've been really using. Um, and this one is honestly so good. And I actually don't see any reviews on YouTube about this. I mean, this is not a, 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 per se a designer bag. The brand is called Base. Is that how you say it? Is it Base? I think it's called base, but please correct me if I'm wrong because I'm probably butchering it. I think this is such a good like, you know, like grab and go. And honestly, this is so inexpensive. This bag was $45, I think. You can get it at Nordstrom. You can actually get it on the website. And I just added this little pop of color to it. I just make these on my free time when I'm watching TV. I think it's so cute. I put one on my Palm Springs Mini, I put one here. I just think it gives it more edge, a little bit more pop. But yeah, I love this one. And the reason I got it is because I love a good number one neutral bag. I love this like beige milky color. What I thought was really cool is it actually has these detachable um, weaved like a uh, handle, not handle, but it allows you to kind of wear it in different ways but then it also has, you know, the actual belt strap. It's neat because this, you can actually fling it over like this, or you could wear it across your chest like this. Um, I'll insert some photos of me wearing it, just like, you know, out. I bring this all the time when I go to the gym because I don't actually need to carry a gym bag anymore. Um, and I just put like my water bottle in here. I put like my wallet. I put my wallet in this back section so it doesn't get scratched. Um, and then the inside, I have some stuff in here, but it has this like back pocket here that I can put like, I put like eyebrow pencils, some of my makeup, and then it has, but wanted to show you this too. Do you guys see there's like this leather 
or maybe it's not actual leather. I can't, I don't know exactly what material, but it's nice and soft. And you can carry credit cards in here too. So I didn't want to actually carry my wallet. And let's say I just want to bring this because I'm going to go get a snack after, after a, like a workout class. I could actually just use this pocket here. So this fits so much. And honestly, I was deciding when I got this bag, what I really wanted was a Louis Vuitton bum bag. I mean, you guys all know this one. It's definitely a popular um, belt bag. I still really love it. Um, the Vachetta, I won't lie, scares me a little because it's Vachetta and you know, like I know myself, I just get super cautious when it comes to like, like sweat if I'm gonna be using it or like rain, you know, things like that. So I kind of stayed away from it. And also when I, every time I try to get it, it was just sold out everywhere. So it's very difficult to find. Um, and I know they have one, I think it's with black. It's very similar to like the Palm Springs backpack where it's the monogram with the black um, trim and strap. I do really like that one too, consider that as well. As, although I do on this particular bum bag, I do like the Vachetta more, but I thought for $40, $45 is such a good alternative instead. I mean, that one retails for what, like close to 2000? I don't know what the price increase is. It actually might be more now. Once upon a time when I wanted it, I think it was like probably around the 2000 mark. So this to me, I've been so happy with it and used it so many times and such a good deal. So you guys, if you haven't checked out this brand, check it out because I'm actually thinking about getting their travel stuff too. I just think it's such a cute, like they have just really affordable and nice stuff. So yeah, this is one that I also been loving. There actually is another one. This one is actually called Hamilton Perkins. Um, this bag actually, so again, this is not a sponsored video, but they did send me this um, because they wanted me to kind of just look at the bag and, and get my opinion and thoughts on it. And, you know, I will always share my opinions when it comes to things that I receive because I want to make sure that, you know, these are bags that's good for you. So this bag right here and what I'm going to be using it for. So I actually haven't used it yet because the tag is still on the perfect bag to go hiking with also like on the airplane because I don't know if you guys but every time I'm hiking or something I really don't want to bring like my Louis Vuitton bag or you know any of my other pieces that I would have to worry about but this is great because I can just throw it on and the room is amazing so I believe Hamilton Perkins was started in 2014 and what I really intrigued me about this brand is everything is made out of recycled goods. So really good for an environment. Um, it doesn't use any leather and check this out. So I thought this was so awesome. The inside is actually made of recycled items. Actually the whole bag is, but you can see that. And it's a mix of using recycled water bottles, pineapple leaf, um, billboard, vinyl, and things like that. But what's cool about it is I love a good inner pocket, which this actually has. I love the fact that it has cards on it. So again, like if I'm hiking, I just wanna bring a couple of credit cards. So when I get down, I can treat myself to a little snack. And then here I can carry like whatever I need in there. And I have this huge pocket. So this is like a great piece that I'm gonna use when I, you know, going to the park or, Going on a hike is adjustable. You guys know me. I love anything with removable straps. So you can actually take this off. Use this on any other bag. Uh, the best part is I can actually use this as a catch-all too in my like Louis Vuitton never full bag. I can actually put this in my go yard tote. So a lot of times when I don't have organizers, things like that, I can kind of just use this as a catch-all, which I actually really love. Um, also thinking about using it like when I travel in my suitcases, I think there's just a lot of good use. Um, and you can always attach other straps to give it like a different look. Um, I think like my Senrev statement strap on this will be so cute. Yeah, this is definitely a new, a newer brand, but something that I just find so unique and so special, um, and so simplistic, which I appreciate. And the best thing is, um, I was reading on their site that no two bags are the same. 
So it's kind of cool that you have something so different. It actually reminds me of like Everlane. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but I personally love Everlane. I love their brand. I love what they're about. Um, and I actually purchased these shoes from them and it's made out of recycled water bottle and they're like little knitted booties. And I mean, I just love them so much. I haven't worn them obviously during the summer, but um, it just reminded me of those. I'm definitely excited to kind of give those a go. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And last but definitely not least, you guys know this bag already. It's my Aria belt bag. Again, nothing, I don't really have much to say because I've done reviews on it. I've done what fits inside. I'll drop all of the videos below, but you guys know I love, love this bag, especially this color and this Dolce material because it's squishy and soft. Um, I use this also just as an everyday, but what I'm gonna switch into now is a back to the actual strap that it came with which is this right here and i'm gonna loop this through and just use it as a bum bag um, i actually went to was it the zoo recently and i actually used this bag and it was really great actually it was really lightweight and i was able to fit like so much in here um and i actually used this as a, i wore it as a bum bag so i just thought it was really cool um, and really quickly is it has these loops inside too. So I can actually put the same chain in here to create like a um, crossbody strap. Or I could put the gold chain back here too and use a gold chain similar to the Louis Vuitton bag and wear it as a crossbody too. So the gold will actually show. So yeah, love, love, love that. Um, just versatility and you know, like, you get sick of one lug, you switch it up. You get sick of one bag, you switch it up. So it's limitless. I really, really like it. So yeah, there's that. So yeah, these are definitely the five um, in my collection that I just been really liking. And I wanted to share the Hamilton Perkins bag because I found it so unique and just so useful in different um, elements. So I wanted to share that. So if you guys are curious how these bags wear, I'm just gonna do some mod shots of each of these so you can get a good look um, and then how to style, how to wear. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. <laughs>
guys, I just wanted to hop on here and share these little bum bags, belt bags, and show you how I wore them, how I use them. Is this type of video something that you guys enjoy watching? Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!